In the previous video, we have understood what are apparent brightness and luminosity of the star. So, what are the scales in which these quantities are measured? To know about this, keep watching this video. Let's see what we are going to study in today's video. Today we will see the apparent magnitude scale, the absolute magnitude scale and the distance modulus. Let's start with apparent magnitude scale. The brightness of stellar objects is defined in terms of magnitudes. The apparent magnitude scale is divided into two categories, which are old magnitude scale and modern magnitude scale. In 2nd century before Christ, the Greek astronomer Hipparchus introduced the old magnitude scale. According to apparent brightness, he divided stars into six classes, or we can say apparent magnitudes. The apparent magnitude was denoted by the symbol small m. According to this, the brightest stars are assigned the first magnitude, and the faintest stars are assigned the sixth magnitude, which are visible to the naked eyes. So we can see the brighter star is denoted by a smaller magnitude. And similarly, the fainter star is denoted by higher magnitude. This magnitude scale is not a linear scale, while well, it is a non-linear scale, which means magnitude 2 star is 2.512 times dimmer than the magnitude 1 star, and at the same time it is 2.512 times brighter than the magnitude 3 star. We can understand this with the help of this table. Suppose the brightness of magnitude 6 star is B, then the brightness of magnitude 5th star becomes 2.512 times B. Similarly, the brightness of magnitude 4 star is 2.512 square times B. We can see the brightness of stars of other magnitudes in same way. So, we see that magnitude 1 star is 100 times brighter than the magnitude 6 star. Now, we can establish the relation between the brightness of two stars in terms of their apparent magnitudes. Let the brightness of magnitude M1 star is B1 and the brightness of magnitude M2 star is B2. Now, take the ratio of B1 and B2. As we can see from the table, the value of B1 is B dash into 2.512 to the power minus M1 and B2 is equal to B dash into 2.512 to the power minus M2. Hence, B1 upon B2 is equal to 2.512 to the power minus M1 minus M2. Now from this relation, we can also calculate the value of M1 minus M2. So we take log of b1 upon b2 and we get m1 minus m2 is equal to minus 2.5 log b1 upon b2. So if we know the value of brightness of two stars, then we can calculate the difference of their apparent magnitudes. Now let's talk about modern magnitude scale. It is the similar scale as old magnitude scale, but it is extended in both directions. If we use a telescope, then a large number of stars could be seen in the sky, which means we could also see the stars which has larger magnitude than 6, because we will be able to see more fainter stars with the help of telescope. The magnitude scale is extended in both directions. Thus, the magnitude of 0 star is 2.512 times brighter than the magnitude 1 star. Similarly, Magnitude minus 1 star is 2.512 times brighter than magnitude 0 star. Therefore, the larger magnitude on negative axis indicates the higher brightness, while the larger positive magnitude indicates the fainter objects. Now, tell me the name of brightest object in the sky. Obviously, it is Sun. The apparent magnitude of Sun is minus 26.81. Now tell me the name of second brightest object in the sky. It is full moon. The apparent magnitude of full moon is 
minus 12.73. We can see the value of apparent magnitude of more objects in the given table. Now let's discuss the absolute magnitude scale. The absolute magnitude of a celestial object is defined as its apparent magnitude if the object were at distance 10 per sec. So the distance 10 per sec is considered as the standard distance. The absolute magnitude is denoted by capital M. Let's take two stars of apparent magnitude M1 and M2. We know the relation of M1 minus M2. Now, recall the formula of apparent brightness in terms of luminosity. Substitute 10 per sec for D1 and D2, so that apparent magnitude could be written as absolute magnitude. So, small m1 is converted into capital M1 and small m2 is converted into capital M2. And we get m1 minus m2 is equal to minus 2.5 log L1 upon L2. Now, if we know the luminosity of two stars, we also know the difference of their absolute magnitudes. Now, you know the basic formulas of apparent magnitudes and absolute magnitudes. What if we take the difference of apparent magnitude to the absolute magnitude of a star? This difference is called the distance modulus. To calculate this, consider a star with apparent magnitude m1 at distance d1 and apparent magnitude m2 at distance d2. So we can write m1 minus m2 is equal to minus 2.5 log b1 upon b2. Now substitute 10 per sec for d2 so that we could replace small m2 to the absolute magnitude capital M. We can write the final relation as small m minus capital M is equal to 5 log d minus 5. The difference between apparent magnitude and absolute magnitude, small m minus capital M is known as distance modulus. Now we know the all basic relations of apparent magnitude and absolute magnitude. Now let's see what we are going to study in our next video. In our next video, we will discuss the effect of temperature and size of a star on its luminosity and color of the star. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Drop your comment in comment box if you have found it useful. Subscribe this channel to watch more videos like this and don't forget to share this video.